So I was telling you about relationships and, and what to do and how to keep them up and, and how to foster them. So the next person we're bringing up, it, uh, his name is Bill Virgos. Now, Bill and I, we know each other for more than 20 years. Um, I was a production coordinator. He was an assistant and accountant. We did a little TV movie called Geppetto with Drew Carey. And we hit it off. We, you know, we became best friends. We became, you know, we worked together over the years. This is how you build relationships. These are the kind of relationships you have. Bill, dude, I love hey, you, man. man. I know you see forever. You 20 years. Which 20 is years. Crazy. Yeah, exactly. So, um, everyone, I want you to be Bill Virgos. Hi, everybody. Thanks again for coming out today. Greatly appreciate it. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. This well, is awesome. So, uh, you're no longer an assistant accountant, thank no, God. No, no longer a production <laughs> assistant, production uh, coordinator, so none of that. Give me a, give me a, how'd you get to where you are now? Yeah, it, uh, you know, originally wanted to get into post production and editing uh, in college and work my way up through the ranks, being a set PA, office PA, working for producers. And the one aspect of the industry that I did not know about was film distribution. They didn't teach that in college. There's people out, you know, that I see all the time who can get financing, get a movie made, but then where does it go? And a lot of them don't know that. So I started working in the uh, film distribution arena now almost 18 years uh, and was hired in August of 2010 to start the home entertainment digital division for a company called Freestyle Releasing. We started Freestyle Digital Media, which is now owned by media mogul Byron Allen. Freestyle Digital Media, we are the true home for independent filmmakers. Uh, we're looking at all narratives, docs, uh, no budget too big, too small, cast, no cast. I firmly believe, and our team does, that every film deserves a distribution deal and deserves to be seen by millions of people. So, thank you. Yeah, right? So tell me about the film. You just showed me something. Uh, what dropped today? What, what's going yeah, on? Yeah, so we're releasing a music documentary uh, called Finding Lucinda. We've been doing a lot of great music documentaries uh, the past year. We did Brothers and Blues uh, with uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan and Jimmy Vaughan. Uh, we did Mojo Nixon's documentary, Life and Times of Mojo, who unfortunately uh, passed away recently. Uh, but it's been great. So Finding Lucinda, Ismay is the singer. She's performing... Uh, uh, this week on the 15th here at South by she's in the music video competition actually it's screening right now uh, so we're gonna release her documentary which is gonna be great congratulations Thank that's you. amazing Thank you. yeah wow, great so in all of those years that you've been you know doing your job working on this what what are you seeing now I mean our whole industry is kind of changing so what's the trends what, what are you looking at you know I think for the independent filmmaker it's a great time I mean, we can shoot a movie on our phones. We can shoot it for no budget. As long as it's a great story and you have good acting, again, doesn't be, need to be major names. Just go out and do it. But the best part is there's so many platforms now to get your film and television shows out there. We have direct partnerships with over 40 different platforms from the transactional space to rent or own, uh, streaming such as Netflix, Hulu, Peacock, pay TV, HBO, Showtime, and Star and even Ava, the advertising video on demand, watching film and TV for free with commercials. We actually own, uh, Byron Allen purchased the Weather Channel back in 2017. We inherited an application called Local Now, uh, which we've now grown the last three years, and we're the leader in fast channels, free ad-supported television. So we're supplying content to all these different avenues now. What are your views on AI? Not a fan. I think it's it can't replace us as true humans. We all have a story out there to tell, and we should all be telling it, not typing it into a computer and having it spit out. So let the studios do that, but you guys stay true to yourselves and true independent filmmaking. Bill, thank you for coming. Thanks, everybody. Fantastic. Appreciate it.